Hey guys, going to do a video today on creating a second DHCP server which can be used for a failover or for load balancing. So on my test-dc, which is my primary domain controller, if I just go to Windows Administration Tools, you can see that DHCP exists there. So I'm going to go to my secondary DC and have a look into the Windows Admin Tools and we can see there's no, sec no DHCP there. So first up, I'm going to go to Server Manager. Let the little bar load for a while. Go to Manage, Add Roles and Features. Next, Role Based and Feature Based Installation. Select my server from the pool. Select DHCP server and add features. Then I will select next, 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 and install. I'll just quickly speed up the video to pass this bit. Then going to go to complete DHCP configuration and select next and the following credentials are fine, so I will hit commit. It still creates the security groups. And close. I'll then close this, and back in administration tools, I'm going to select DHCP. And we can see that this is now fired up. So what I'll do is I'll go back to the first domain controller, which is the first DHCP server. Double click on DHCP. Maximize. Expand that down. And then I'm going to right click on IP version 4 and configure failover. You can see that it's got the available scope which is our 192.168.2.0 range. Select Next. And this is where we would add the partner server. So if we just click Add Server, we can see that we have two authorized DHCP servers. So I'm just going to go this authorized DHCP server and select DC2. Now I'll select OK. I'm sorry if you hear any weird noises in the background. My parrot is flying around. Next. And this is where we can set up the load balance. So we're going to give it a relationship name. I'm just going to leave that as it is because it makes sense. So the maximum client lead time is the time that the partner server will extend the lease of the IP address to the clients of the second server if they lose communication between each other. If we have a look in mode, we've got load balance and hot standby. Hot standby means that one DHCP server will always issue the addresses, but if it goes offline, it will revert to the second. And then the load balance percentage is if it will balance the load 50%, 50%, or you can make that whatever you like. The state switchover interval is the time after the loss of the communication with the partner when the server goes from state of connection loss to state of the partner being disabled. And the enable message authentication is a shared secret to establish a secure communication channel. So I'm just going to give it a secret, which won't be very secret. Testing one, two, three. Select next and finish. We can now say that everything has been successful, so we'll click close. If we then go to our IP version 4 on the, the first domain controller, right click and replicate the failover scope, we can see that this will replicate the scope to the respective partner server. So I'm just going to click OK and close. If I then go onto the second domain controller, and have a look at the, the scope. We'll just give it a refresh with F5. 
we can now say that everything has replicated across. Quite simple but effective. Alright, see you guys.